Supreme Court's Chief Justice John Roberts is urging the Senate to stop playing politics and get judges confirmed and do so ASAP. Ian Milheiser is with the Center for American Progress, joins us now. So, Ian, the Chief Justice noted uh, the Senate recently uh, filled a number of vacancies, including 19 recently confirmed judges. Also, the Senate has confirmed now 62 of President Obama's nominees. So, this still is not enough. So, explain to all of us what's the holdup. Well, the holdup is that the right has worked very, very hard to gain a stranglehold on the judiciary. And the only thing better than having a stranglehold on the judiciary is keeping your stranglehold on the judiciary. What's interesting here, though, this is a really big deal that Chief Justice Roberts is speaking out. Because Chief Justice Roberts is one of the court's great ideologues. I mean, this is one of the masterminds behind the Citizens United decision. And even he is saying, hey, I may have something political to gain here, but this is too far. We can't keep having judges retire faster than new judges are being confirmed. We won't have a justice system if the pace of confirmations keeps up at the very slow pace that it's going. Ian, we talk about the politics and all this, but Chief Justice, Justice uh, Roberts writes in his year-end review that each political party has found it easy to turn on a dime from decrying to defending the blocking of judicial nominations depending on their political fortunes. You know, he's taking both parties to task right here, and he's really not the first to have done this. Uh, I believe Chief Chief Justice Rehnquist uh, comes to mind having done that in the late 90s. Uh, so really, he's, he's going after both sides here, calling them both on the carpet. He, he is saying that this is a game that both sides have engaged in, but I think he's honestly engaged in a little bit of revisionist history here. What we saw during the Bush administration is a handful of very... Unfortunately, we've had some technical difficulties with Ian's shot that we're going to work on that, and we'll try to get back to that story. Again, our thanks to Ian Milheiser if we can't get back to him. All right, have you seen this?